Howdy folks, this is Jagos, and today is going to be one of those days that I think the seventh plane of hell has basically opened up and we found that there are new planes. Because today is talking about two different shootings that have basically happened along with the ramifications and effects of it that basically we don't have a lot of really good thinking people that are going to look at this objectively. Um... How do we start this? Well, let's start from the beginning. There was one shooting in regards to one singer. I believe her name is Christine. Your old singer shot. Orlando had a Christina Grimmy that was basically shot and killed at her own concert when she was doing her meet and greet. Now, from what has been said, the deranged fan is the one that shot and killed her. So basically, if you really think about it, her death was very similar to Lennon, where he was basically shot and killed by a deranged fan. Um, the people that stopped him were the ones without a gun. So her death has basically been undermined by the fact that now you have 50 people that were killed by an AR-15, and if you look at where everybody is battling, this has been a fight between Islam and Islamic fundamentalism, even though Omar, who's the name of the shooter with the gay club, is not really that type of person. Um, let me, I'm trying to get all the facts here, and it has just been one hell of a day. Uh, 50 dead in Orlando so Orlando had two shootings so 50 killed in a Florida nightclub the shooter is alleged to have ISIS allegiance now this is bad reporting because right now the main thing is that a lot of people have been murdered 50 people have been murdered now on top of the 50 people being murdered the ones that can't sit here and donate blood to try to help save lives would happen to be the gay community themselves who were the ones that were victimized so you have a double whammy on that F furthermore you have the whammy against the Muslims because well now we're doing fear mongering in the propaganda in regards to what the not just the Orlando police are saying but also what the corporate media are saying so now because he has a Muslim sounding name now you have fear mongering on that part so everyone sitting here and saying the Islamic State is part of this entire shooting I won't know full details because right now there's so much emotion going on I really 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 don't want to sit here and get into all of the crazy mess that's going on he was a lone shooter he got an AR-15 that's a fact he worked as a security guard that's a fact he had he was a licensed gun owner so the gun control doesn't necessarily work what I'm hearing from the other parts that are not working is the fact that he may have been had that Muslim sounding name Omar but he really wasn't religious fundamentalist what he had a problem with was someone coming in and gay men kissing things like that the concept of a gay or possibly a homophobic is Islam Islamic fundamentalist or something really hasn't crossed the mind now we're all sitting here and blaming Isis for this stuff because that's what's being reported by the news so a lot of fear factory fear bullshit is what's going on bad journalism leads to bad conclusions and nobody's getting to the source of it well one thing that I was looking at was the fact that the FBI was supposed to have been looking into this guy and they sat here and dropped the ball on it. This is very similar to what happened in France. France is sitting here and killing a lot of people. This causes a lot of resentment to the policies and politics that they have overseas. So it brings that stuff back home and they have more uh, terror attacks. The same thing went on with the IRA, the Irish um, Resistance Alliance or whatever they were called. But Peter King, who is 
you know, one of the guys in Congress sits here and supports the IRA because they were sitting here and doing the very same type bombings with regard to Britain. So what we see is the policies and politics of the era are not working. America has been at war in Afghanistan for 14 years. Omar, from the sounds of it, had connections to his family was from Afghanistan and he might have been you know a, an asshole he might have been a homophobe he might have been gay himself but the structures around him were that he could get access to guns instead of anything else so he decided to sit here and murder other lives likewise the deranged fan could have a gun in a club and then the next day I think she was shot Friday. I'm not going to be 100%. The, everything is going to be in the underbar. But the fact of the matter is, both of these show that there is a problem in America. We have guns that are available to too many people. That is just an absolute fact. The Second Amendment, a lot of people don't understand that the Second Amendment is about slavery at its core. This is one of those things. If you want to sit here and get rid of the gun um, gun violence, you have to get rid of what what they were supposed to be used to control. Black labor. You know, slavery was about people sitting here controlling what black people could do for the majority of it. There were slave patrols. They were given guns to shoot um, refugees, uh, shoot people that wanted to escape to Spain and and French controlled territories you know Spain had Mexico France had Quebec so I'm just using those as an example but the fact is the second amendment creates militias and those militias could sit here and patrol the south patrol the north and try to get them back when you had that fight with the um, civil war one of the big things was someone went to a slave uh, non-slave territory that's one of the fights and after being there you know Plessy versus Ferguson they were shipped back to the, they were thought that they were a free man because they went to a free state and that's just one of the many battles that people have had legal and otherwise so the judicial system didn't give people fair fair rights equal rights in any way shape or form those are some of the underlying issues that are at core and at present here. 50 people did not have to die. Our gun control, our gun lobby, or the gun lobby, the NRA, that has a problem. And now they're trying to deflect to video games because that's easier for them than anything else. I mean, they sell to anybody that they can. Either they'll sell to Saudi Arabia and sell our guns over there, or they'll sell them here. And the more guns that you have around, the more gun deaths that you have. This is something that Adam Lankford sat here and said at length, but yet people don't sit here and try to get actual information. Sandy Hook should have been a wake-up call. And unfortunately, now you have gay violence, you have Muslims, and you have all the regular scapegoats that we've all come to hit, sit here and understand. Nobody really wants to understand it. They just want to sit here, point the finger at something else, and say it wasn't me. Well, there's failure all over. The FBI failed. They didn't protect 50 people from being murdered because they had this guy on hit on the um, site. The gay, gay community is the victim, yet they can't even donate their own blood. That's what's fucked up about it. Then you have all the people that are using this for their own political agendas. And I sit here and talk to all the Twitter warriors out there that are basically going to be at this 500 ways from Sunday. Because rather than sit here and really come to it, they're sitting here saying it's the terrorists. The terrorists are coming. They sit here and say the gays are coming. And it's just a big giant clusterfuck. Unfortunately, I don't have much good news on this one. And hopefully, I mean, let's see in the comments what is going to be said. But it's a tragedy. 51 people are dead. 53 more are wounded. And it didn't have to be this way. 
So we haven't learned our lessons. We're just repeating our old mistakes.